Heaven Meet, good to see you. Where are we today? So we are at the campus of Scalar School of Technology here in Bangalore in the middle of all these awesome tech companies. A lot has happened over the last one year, including our campus growing by three times. I want to tell you all about that in this video. So over the last 10 years at Scalar, we've worked with different recruitment partners like Microsoft, Amazon, Google. And one of the learnings from there is that they really struggle to find high quality engineers at the entry level. Therefore, we work with 100 plus leaders from these top tech companies to build a four year undergraduate residential program here in Bangalore. The vision of this college is to reimagine engineering education in India and help produce top 1% computer science engineers here in India. Before we show everyone the new parts of the campus, could you share what the curriculum looks like and who teaches it? Sure. Actually, while I share that, let me also show you the space. So, please come in. So, we're really inspired by how doctors learn, right? Like doctors learn from other senior doctors inside the hospital in a very practical way. Now, similar to that, at Scalar School of Technology, the curriculum one is designed by all of these leaders at these top product-based companies and they've designed it in a very practical way, like whatever is needed in these kind of companies, that is what is included in this curriculum. Now, just standalone curriculum is not going to work, right? Like if it's not taught by the right people. So therefore, talking about instructors here, all of the instructors are people who have industry experience, meaning they would have built an app like an Amazon or a Zomato kind of an app, right? For example, right now, there is a class going on, I think. Yeah, I, there's a web development class going on currently. And uh, all of our students are learning in a way where it's not just theory. After every class, there is a lot of practical projects to be built. So to give you an example, by the end of the fourth year, let's say someone who has chosen AI as a specialization, data science and machine learning, will actually build a self-driving car software. There are many more examples that you can download the detailed curriculum and have a look at. Can you tell me about the tech leaders visiting SST? Uh, one thing that I missed sharing earlier was that there are a lot of these super mentor sessions which are taken by ex-CXO, CTOs. For example, there was uh, Bhavan Turakya sir. He is the co-founder of Direct Eye, the 95 richest guy in India. He came here, spoke to students. Uh, which really inspires them, right? We also had Amod Malviya, who's the ex-CTO of Flipkart, currently co-founder of Odan. Then we had Subhash Chaudhary, who's the co-founder of uh, Dukan. A lot of these people come in, which help students get a lot of perspectives about the industry. Also, we've been hearing a lot about the Innovation Lab on campus. Can you tell us what is it and how it benefits students? Right. Being an ex-entrepreneur, this, this piece is very close to my heart. So the goal of Innovation Lab is to produce entrepreneurs who are working on deep tech startups or solutions, right? So actually, let me show you the space. This is a new part of the campus recently added. And actually, when we were thinking of how do we solve this problem of how students can go about building this deep tech startups, we looked at things like a Y Combinator or the MIT Media Lab, etc. And that's how we came up with this concept, right? Now, who better than Anshuman, who is the co-founder of Scalar, he's, he's been running Scalar for 10 years now and has worked with Facebook, etc. to talk about the concept of the Innovation Lab. Uh, so he's right here. So Anshuman, I would love to know about the why behind Innovation Lab and the concept, exactly how does it work? Let me start with the why, right? We are a technical institute. We need to solve for jobs, but equally important is making sure that people are ready for what is going to happen in the future in sure. tech. And the tech is evolving at a very rapid pace today, right? So this is where we build in cutting edge of tech. We have robotic labs, we have drone lab, we have a AR VR lab, we have an AI ML lab. Uh, we have an IoT lab. All of this to build on things that were probably released yesterday. Mm, mm. Uh, and we're building for the real world. So we get validation from there, whether what we're building is it actually in use or not. Right. 
um, and if people are able to do that, then they're always going to be in demand because they are building for the next generation of products. Very interesting. So this is the reason that we've started this. How does it function? What's the framework like? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so there are broadly four pillars um, of Innovation Lab. One is we're building it in close collaboration with uh, venture capitalists. So there is going to be somebody from a VC firm spending time here from time to time uh, and advising on what to build, what are the key problem statements to solve, right? The second pillar is we also invite um, domain experts, founders to come and actually build from this lab. Sure. Students might be great at tech, but they might not have a very on the ground feel of what problem statement needs to be solved. And that's where the founders come into the picture. Third is obviously we select a few um, very qualified students to be a part of the innovation lab. Not everybody is able to get in. These so are SST students who go through are, a process yes. who get selected. Okay, That is correct, yes. Um, and, and finally, we also get like tech people from the scalar team to come and spend time with these students so that they have regular guidance on how to build. Um, a combination of these four, we believe will create the right kind of companies for the future. And we believe this is going to be uh, a place that will churn out a very, very valuable companies, very, very impactful companies in the future. Super, super excited about this. Can you give me an example of what's happened over the last few months? For example, th these guys, they're in the drone lab right now. They're, what they're building right now is um, a drone which can identify fire if it is there in the campus anywhere and go and diffuse fire immediately. Okay. Um, so that's one thing they're building. Very similarly, there's another team there that is building again a drone which can go and monitor crops mm. and flag where, where the crops are infected and hence like on that coordinate, something needs to be going sure. spread. Very similarly in the ARVR lab, they're trying to build like a virtual tourism platform where you can go and um, maybe visit a city mm. while sitting in this lab. So Anjuman, this is great, right? Uh, now, what if some of these projects actually get traction, means that users are using them? What happens then? Yeah, I mean, the good thing about building it in a VC network where you're daily spending time with these VCs is that you have first-hand access to them, right? So if there are any projects that start to get traction, they have a good enough market, very high chances that you also uh, get to present to those VCs and get funded. Ashwin, one more thing. Where are we? What is this space? So this is a co-working space where students can get together, form teams and create projects. Hmm. Um, and and it's, it is just an extension of the innovation lab that we have. If you have a larger team, they can work out of here. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Anshuman, for your time. Thank you. Also, you spoke about the campus getting bigger this year. What can the students expect? So, a couple of new things. Let me start with sports first. Now, of course, sports is super important, not just for physical health, mental health and overall well-being. So, like you can see here, we have a turf which is right here in the macro campus. So, with, it's part of the campus now. It's like a multi-purpose turf where you can play football, cricket, etc. There are other things also, just to add like... We have a sports club, which just yesterday did like a sports tournament uh, for our students, which is an intra-college tournament. Soon, we will be doing inter-college tournaments, either hosted here or our students participating in by going to other colleges in Bangalore. In addition to the turf that you just saw, we have three badminton courts here in the main campus, along with a basketball course that students can play at. The classroom and turf look really nice, but where do these students hang out? Right, actually, let me show you a new part of the campus, which is almost ready, which is the cafeteria. Now, like you can see there, there's a jamming uh, place there where students can jam. There are locker rooms, changing room in case students want to uh, play sports and change into jerseys, etc. Now, this is the space where students actually have their lunch, dinner, snacks, etc. Take breaks. Now, obviously, this is a four-year college program where bonds and memories are going to be formed for a lifetime. And I think spaces like this help that happen really well. Uh, that's where the kitchen is, where uh, there will be really high quality vendors who serve healthy food. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the new cafeteria that I wanted to show you guys. Mamit, what about the well-being of students here at Scalar School of Technology? So yes, this aspect is super important. There are two parts to well-being, right? Physical well-being, so we spoke about the sports facilities. 
but in addition to that there is also a gymnasium that every student gets access to in addition to that a lot of students also practice yoga on campus and also we have hired a in house counselor to cater to the mental well being of our students wow that's a lot to look forward to also can you show us where the students stay right so this is a fully residential program so let me actually take you to the micro campus where students stay it's a short distance away so some students either walk it down some students have kept cycles and we also have the option of uh, a bus right so let's go So welcome to the micro campus. Let me show you around. This is the entrance. Now of course we're dealing with young adults and therefore security is super important. Now uh, for everyone there is a mobile based authentication or a biometric authentication. So they have to unlock it using their mobiles. So we'll unlock the door and that's how you go inside. So welcome to the fifth floor of the micro campus where students hang out have their dinner lunch etc uh so we had asked actually few of our students to volunteer to share their experience and we have Srimay and Harshini who've been kind enough so maybe we can start with like a quick introduction Myself Harshini I'm from Andhra Pradesh I'm a first year undergrad student at SST and I'm happy to show you around our micro campus we also have Srimay here Hello everyone my name is Srimay and I am from Aurangabad Maharashtra I am a first year undergrad student at Scalar School of Technology also i am a tech enthusiast and a youtuber Harshini Shime i want your honest opinion guys how is the food at the micro campus so far your food at micro campus is pretty fine i must say uh, but whenever we get bored of the same recipes we tend to grab some quick bites from the cafe at the fifth floor got it and what do you guys do to chill and relax so basically at micro campus we have table tennis tables then we have pool tables then we also have first wall and there is a reading room where we usually study or have some fun sessions and we also have this amphitheater where we have our jamming sessions at nights and we also have our club activities held here and club meetings also also for our help we have our batch success managers who stay with us here is dhruv bhaiya bhaiya can you introduce yourself hi everyone i am dhruv i work as a batch success manager at scalar school of technology so prior to this i used to work at codeshare but as a software engineer i have won many coding competitions and been to acmic regionals twice i live here with students at the micro campus i am somewhat like an elder brother for them who's always there to help them with anything it could be academics any personal problem they are facing i always try my best to help them what about your hostel life at the micro campus so we have had a lot of celebrations like we had the commencement day we had the independence day then we had diwali party and at last we also had a an annual fest in december we as a student community at sst are quite diverse so we often celebrate each other's uh, festivals and we get to know about different cultures and traditions we also have student driven clubs at sst so we have the competitive programming club the open source club the cultural club the sports club the media club and also a ted talk tribe club i understand that there are separate entries for male and female students here at the micro campus along with that the rooms are separated with the warden present at all times shri me can you show us around your room here at the micro campus sure let's go so welcome to my room this is the double sharing room this is my roommate aditya we have cupboards we have study tables and we also have a attached bathroom so yeah that's about the micro campus and that's a wrap from our side thank you so much for watching in case you want to apply to scalar school of technology the link is in the description go ahead and apply in case you've already planning to give the nsat all the very best and i hope to see you on campus very soon thank you